France is the 11th most powerful country according to global firepower. The French are the only people in Europe who can almost completely make their own high-quality armed vehicles, guns, ships, planes and weapons. Their goods have been sold all over the world and have been the main cause of several big wars. This video will talk about the top 10 weapons that French military uses based on technology, quality and how well they work in battle. We will briefly look at some of the best weapons the French have made and used. At number 1, the Charles de Gaulle. In fact, the Charles de Gaulle is the only aircraft carrier outside of the US Navy that is fueled by nuclear power. At 261.5 meters long and 42,500 metric tons, it is not the world's biggest ship, but it is the strongest one in its class. It is capable of carrying up to 40 aircraft, including Rafale M fighter jets, E-2C Hawkeye early warning aircraft, NH-90, Gazelle, and Puma helicopters. This gives it the power to project power hundreds of kilometers away, up to thousands of kilometers from French land. In fact, it is the only European carrier that has been taking part in NATO operations for the past few years because no other European country has a strong carrier force. This will continue for decades to come. At number 2, the Mistral-class amphibious assault ship. This is a brand new ship for the French Navy. It gives them the ability to attack from land or sea, move troops and help people in need. It is 200 meters long and can normally hold 16 medium-sized helicopters, but this number can be raised by 24 by a mix of light and medium-sized helicopters or 35 light helicopters. It can hold a lot of things, like tanks, trucks, howitzers, protective personnel carriers and more. About 800 soldiers can get on board and be transported to shore. During the recent Libyan conflict, this ship proved its usefulness and versatility when it based several attack and transport helicopters. When the attack helicopters were put forward on this safe carrier, they made it easy to launch precise strikes. At number 3, the Horizon-class destroyers. France has two of these strong attackers. People call them frigates, but based on their size and weapons, they are definitely destroyers. The word frigate is just political. These ships can keep an air defense bubble 150 kilometers around them thanks to the range and power of their AESA radars. These ships are a part of the French carrier battle group and protect the air first. On top of that, they can fight on land and against submarines. Eight anti-ship missiles, four torpedo tubes and an anti-submarine warfare helicopter are on board to protect the ship from subs. There are also two 76mm super rapid guns and two 20mm cannons in the gun weaponry. At number 4, the Triumphant class submarine. The French Navy's Triumphant class of ballistic missile submarines is the active lead boat class, with four vessels entering service in 1997, 1999, 2004 and 2010. These submarines were tested and outfitted with 16 and 51 missiles each. The submarine has four 533mm torpedo tubes and can carry a mix of torpedoes and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. Le Triumphant has a submerged speed of 25 knots and a surface speed of 20 knots. The diving depth is more than 300 meters. The submarine has an endurance of more than 60 days. At number 5, the Dassault Rafale. The Rafale is a French fighter aircraft with two engines, a canard delta wing design, and the ability to carry various weapons. It is designed to excel in tasks such as air superiority, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, deep strike, anti-ship strike, and nuclear deterrence. The aircraft's maximum speed is Mach 1.8. France possesses approximately 230 of these entities. The SALT refers to the Rafale as an Omniroll, 4.5th generation aircraft. The three primary varieties of the Rafale aircraft are the Rafale C, 
a single-seat version designed for land-based operations. There are file B, a twin-seat version also intended for land-based operations, and there are file M, a single seat specifically designed for carrier-based operations. At number 6, the Leclerc main battle tank. The AMX Leclerc is a very expensive, high-tech tank that comes with a lot of weapons. The tank consists of a 120mm main gun, a coaxial 12.7mm gun, and a 7.62mm gun of variable rounds. The hulls of the first Leclercs are made of welded steel and have armor that can be moved around. The newest ones have composite armor with titanium plate sections and defense against explosive blocks on the sides. This protects against both hollow charge and sabot anti-tank weapons. It runs on an 8-cylinder diesel engine, which is easier to maintain and costs less to run than a gas turbine engine. It hasn't been in a big conflict since it was first used in 1992. The French now have 222 Leclerc tanks in service. At number 7, the Crotail Missile System. It is a short-range rocket system that can be put on either a tracked chassis or 6x6, 8x8 wheeled vehicle. This mobility, along with 8 missiles in containers and a search and tracking radar, gives the French military a strong and easy-to-use air defense system. One of the best things about this system is that it can be moved quickly into dangerous areas because it can fit on a C-130 or A-400M transport plane. Because this missile system is self-contained, it can shoot its missiles using information from other devices and then hide again. This makes it very dangerous in battle. French frigates carry different versions of this missile and the Chinese have notably figured out how to make it work by analyzing the few examples they were able to get legally. At number 8, the M51 missile. The M51 submarine launch ballistic missile is specifically created to replace the aging M45 missile. It can hold a payload of 6 to 10 TN75 thermonuclear bombs, each capable of being targeted individually. The missile is 12 meters in length and has a total mass of 52 metric tons. The M51's three-stage engine is directly adapted from the solid propellant boosters used in Ariane 5. Similar to other submarine-launch ballistic missiles with blunt noses, like the Trident D5, the M51 incorporates a retractable aerospike in its nose. The missiles were originally intended to have a range of 11,000 kilometers and be equipped with 10 advanced MIRVs. Number 9. The Scalp Cruise Missile French is the third country in the world to develop and deploy long-range land attack cruise missile on its vessels, following the United States and Russia. The Scalp Missile is a missile with a 450kg warhead and a range of over 1,000 km. The French Navy's FREMM frigates are equipped with 16 scalp cells. It is a critical land attack platform when this frigate is deployed in conjunction with a carrier battle group as it employs scalp missiles. Variants of the scalp are designed to be launched from Rafale and it is also flexible. This enables France to strike high-value targets air defense installations, and hardened shelters that are located hundreds of kilometers inland. In its maximum configuration, the Rafale is capable of transporting three scalp missiles. Number 10. The Exocet The Exocet is a French-built anti-ship missile whose various versions can be launched from surface vessels, submarines, helicopters, and fixed-wing aircraft. The relatively compact missile is designed from attacking small to medium-sized warships. Although multiple hits are effective against larger vessels, such as aircraft carriers. As a countermeasure against air defense around the target, it maintains a very low altitude while inbound, staying just 1 to 2 meters above the sea surface. The missile has a length of 6 meters and a range of 200 kilometers. And that, guys, was the top 10 weapons that the French military uses. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to stay tuned for more interesting videos from the buzz. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.